Hi and welcome to Pumpkin's Nail Station. I'm just doing a really quick video today. It's just going to be a quick swatch of these new Nicole Diary polishes that I brought to review. I believe they are the Mermaid series. So this is what they look like just paint, painted onto black. So it become obvious which colours they are as I stamp because I'm not sure I didn't didn't mark them up. I probably should have, but it will become obvious as I'm stamping them anyway. So let's just get our steamper nice and ready. Sorry about this. I've just done another video and uh, I didn't prepare my. Stamp her head. And just need this rolling over. Okay. Oops. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We all do these sort of things. Right. So I'm just going to grab a plate just to stamp these with. I'll just use this one that's here. Yeah, we'll just use this one because it's got a nice filled image for us to try. So let's just get an acetone. Oh, wait, put some acetone on it. Ready to clean this stamping plate afterwards. So we've got some acetone, just there. Okay. So let's get ready to go then. Let's get ready. So we're going to start off with, it says on it, Born Pretty number three. So I presume these, these are exactly the same as the Born Pretty ones. I don't know, it doesn't give me a colour name. They do look really milky and clear, but actually I have I have tested these already because I couldn't wait. <laughs> Let me get a clean stamper, clean scraper. So I'm sure you all know how to stamp by now. But just in case you don't, you pop it onto the plate, stamp the image on, line it up where you want it and pop it on. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. But I'm going to try. Let me try for you. Let me try and get my phone light for you. Hang on, hang on. One sec. Because it might be better with a bit of a sprinkling of light on it. Can you see that? It's so pink, it's so purple, honestly. I've just, I've only had to put the torch on it for you guys to see it. I can actually see this close up. So because I'm just going to use the same image for fairness. This next one is called Ends of the Earth. So again, they do feel like a runny consistency. But actually they stamp really well. I find that if you just put the stamp, the scraper really flat almost, it picks the image up really nice. Oh gosh. This honestly, honestly guys, these are honestly ladies, these are beautiful. Look, look at that. That is honestly that's beautiful. I love them, I do. I'm so happy that I got them to review for you guys I brought these off Amazon I think they're about £12 for the set so you know they're super cheap for all, for all five polishers this one's called Mermaid's Eye I'm going to line them up in an order that I did them so we'll know which one is which 
Again, I just put my scraper really flat and then just scrape it off the edge like that. Roll your stamper. Pop your pattern on like so. This is the green one. I mean, I think that was obvious in the name and the earth. Oh, it is beautiful, look. So, the next one that I'm going to stamp is called On the Young. Sorry if you can hear somebody at the door. <laughs> Somebody's just come in. I think he's coughing. Let me just get a clean wipe. The only reason I'm wiping this stamping plate is because I'm using a, another colour. Otherwise, I just wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother if it was... Oh. Put all the acetone all over the table. Never mind. Otherwise, I just wouldn't bother. So this one's called On the Young. Where's my scraper? Yep, that one was called On The Young and I think this one does look a little bit gold to be honest. Yeah, I think this one's the gold one, yeah. I think you can sort of tell actually as you get the polishes out of the bottle. This one's got like a goldy tinge to it. And this one just says Born Pretty number two, so I don't know what colour it is. I'll find out and I'll put it in the, the name in the description box for you when I when I find out. So if this video goes up before I have time to find out, um, if you want to know, just ask me and I'll, I'll find out for you then. But it's just born pretty number two, so you could probably find out quite easy just by looking at the born pretty mermaid series. And this one is the pink one. So it's obviously going to be named something. It's like a pinky purple colour almost. They are they are beautiful though seriously, like outside in daylight they are they are gorgeous. So let's just try and line these up in the right orders. So that one was that one, 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 and that one was that one. So I'll just hold these up to the camera for you together to see. I will do a white swatch, but I'll do it separately. So, there they are, sort of, hold on, together. So, I hope you can see that. They are gorgeous, so if you did a nice, you can just picture that, can't you? Like a, a manicure with a black accent nail with a stamp in the same colour, and then all the other nails looking like that. They've got like a metallic sort of look to them I think personally I think they've got a bit of a metallic look to them and again you know you could picture that couldn't you as a manicure like you know the gold image stamped on to a black accent nail personally my favourite is the purple this like purpley pinky colour one. I absolutely love this. I think I'm going to do a manicure with these colours and I, those as my main colours and a couple of accent nails with a nice stamped image like that. The blue is gorgeous as well. I think there's actually a colour for everybody or every occasion here, to be fair. Oops. Let me pop that one there. Pop that one there like that. And that one looks like that. 
They do look absolutely gorgeous together though, don't they? Ladies, what do you think? What's your favourite one? You can just pick one to five and then I'll know which one it is. <laughs> um, but I will write, I'll name up number one to five in the description box and what colours I used from one to five. And then this is the last one, it's the green one. Would you wear a manicure like this with like three colours like that and one like that? Two accent nails in black with a stamp pattern and then the rest in these gorgeous metallic colours. There is like a metallic shimmer to these, like little flecks of glitter in them as well. I mean, I just painted these with a normal top coat, but with a gel top coat, you could just imagine how beautiful they would look. Um, so yeah, so we'll just go over them again. Just to go over the colours, one to five. The first one was O3 by Born Pretty. The next one, which was the gold, the pink one is called O3 by Born Pretty. The gold one. So the pink one is O3. The gold one is Ends of the Earth. Right, okay, so the pink one was 03, the gold one is on the young, the mermaid's eye is the purple one, 02 for the blue and ends of the earth for green, I think, but I will definitely find out what, what colours they were in the video and I'll put the 1 to 5 in the description box and you can let me know which one was your favourite, would you wear the manicure that I suggested? Um, maybe three in a plain colour and two in black with a nice stamp pattern. Um, I'm going to swatch them in white in a separate video so it will be just linked up as a part two. And coming up I have got something else really exciting to do with these polishes as well. So if I just show you this nail here, put it in focus, let me shine my torch on it. So you can see the hollow. Can you see the hollowness, ladies? If you want to know how I did that, you're going to have to watch another one of my videos that's coming up. I'm going to do this when I can edit a video because, you know, it does take a bit of time. I did it using these, Nicole, also Nicole Diary Gems. You get four packets in a box. You get the gold ones in these shapes, which I used the square, and I turned it into a decal, basically. Um, I sealed in the... well, I won't tell you. Basically, yeah, that, that gem there was made into a decal sticker that you can save and put on your nails as and when you want them. These ones are gorgeous. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of them. I don't know if you can see how gorgeous they are, but, you know they really are they shine like a iridescent sort of and these like normal crystal ones honestly they are so sparkly i've never really been a gem girl but i am desperate to try um one of the round ones with these petals i mean look at them they are beautiful aren't they they all like have a sort of a two-tony sort of colour to them. So they're a bit like iridescent. You know, they've some of them shine like purple, like chameleon gems. Like, you know, I've never seen anything like it. Again, you get all four packets of these for about, I think it's about 13, 14 pounds or something like that. So it's a real bargain. They are high quality. I have checked them all. Honestly, they're not junk. They're not junk. These are high quality gems with a flat back they are like they shine like two-tone sort of chameleon sort of looking gems I've never seen anything like it the purple one's got like a purpley green and the blue's got like a purple and pink um, the green is like a green and blue and they're not bouncing off each other or bouncing off anything because that's just how they look even when I'm looking at it through no lights or anything um, and they come in these really quality cases as well 
you know so when you've finished with your gems or when you've used some of them you can just keep these you know the cases are high quality Oops. you know you will not lose your gems in there and they're so easy to put away um, so again I'll put the link in the description box um, and if you're interested and you want to see how I did this click like say yes say what what you would do with some of these holographic gem decals <laughs> um i got that idea off girly nail 66 from her earlier videos so i absolutely loved it my eyes were just like Whoa! i have to do that that's what i'm gonna do with those gems um you know so yeah that's what i'm gonna do anyway i hope you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you did say which colour was your best like one to five and if you just say what you like if you would wear the manicures that i recommended to you um if you're interested in seeing the swatches in white let me know and i'll get that video up to you as soon as possible yeah um so yeah i will put the links for these they're on nicole diary eu store on amazon but i will give you both the links to them they're absolutely gorgeous um, I can't wait to do a manicure myself so I can give them a five star rating um, because honestly I, I absolutely I'm so happy I purchased these I really really am so yeah right well I'm off now anyway happy Sunday thanks for watching